Joseph Stalin, born on December the 18th, 1878, became the leader of the Soviet Union from about 1928 to his death in 1953. Stalin became General Secretary of the Soviet Communist Party in 1922. Following the death of Vladimir Lenin, he initiated the Great Purge, a campaign of political repression, persecution and killings that reached its peak in 1937. Stalin's rule had long-lasting effects on the Soviet state from the era of his rule until its collapse in 1991. During 2002, Volunteers working from the human rights group Memorial found 20 sets of human bones at a site in Toksovo, which is about 20 miles north of St. Petersburg. The burial ground is a grim reminder of the ruthlessness of Stalin and other dictators of his ilk. This site is a vast burial ground for thousands of victims of Stalin's secret police firing squads. An early set of nine remains were sent for forensic examination to identify features including age, gender, cause and time of death. But even in the field, it was quickly obvious that executions had indeed taken place. Andrei Dybovsky, a forensic specialist, points out a typical skull that bears evidence of a fatal gunshot wound to the back of the head. Andre continued to say that this is a typical example of a 45 caliber pistol with both an entry and an exit point present. The work is tedious and was conducted in the forest outside the township. The sound of artillery shells exploding in a nearby army testing range added to the heavy atmosphere of the exploration. Standing waist deep in pits, volunteers had to sift through the dirt and meticulously retrieve the remains. Memorial officials stated it had taken them five years to locate this site. They used accounts from local people, documents from official Russian archives and old aerial photos to find the burial ground. They estimate the site could contain as many as 30,000 bodies in an area of about 500 acres. Witnesses who lived in the villages around the site in the 1930s have gone on record to say that shots rang out from the army testing range. Later, they found bodies and had to keep their discovery a terrible dark secret. A local resident, David Pelgonen, recalls as a young boy looking for mushrooms and chancing upon a mass grave. He and others were warned to remain silent or they would end up in the grave too. Memorial officials say remains found in the area could not have been those of people killed by Nazi forces that laid siege to Leningrad or St. Petersburg, because German forces didn't reach that area. Russian officials have said they believe millions of people died from executions and brutal imprisonment under Stalin's rule. His security forces ruthlessly arrested people suspected of political disloyalty, espionage, failure to work hard enough in factories or on farms, or of not fighting hard enough against German invaders. Officials have also said that they believe millions of people died in the communist purges before Stalin's own death. Yet there was no trace of tens of thousands of other victims who were rounded up and in and around Leningrad, as St. Petersburg was known in Soviet times. According to official Soviet-era data, 39,488 people from the region were executed between August 1937 and November 1938. Even today, the people of Russia are still finding it hard to come to terms with the conclusive evidence that shows the depth of the ruthlessness of Stalin. <laughs>